today, <clears throat> I decided I'm going to play some DPS, which is kind of my main role anyway. But I feel like whenever I stream, I usually play uh, support for whatever reason. Just a little more practice, I guess. But right now what I'm doing is I'm just I'm just warming up. I haven't played for a couple days, so I like to go into the practice range and just sh shoot robots for a while. Before they added this room, I would literally just go out there and just like shoot the robots from the side, which was fine. But they probably looked at like my individual practice range hours and were just like, wow, this man spent dozens of hours just shooting robots. Like maybe we should add a... Uh, a more, you know, focused range to it, and I'm glad they did. Now I can just sit there and do this. This is just a warm up for a while. I'll do this probably for like five minutes. I feel like it's not a, uh, it's nothing crazy, but I feel like it does help. Like sometimes, I don't know if, about uh, anyone else, but I like get on and I feel like my aim is just awful, or like my hands just feel slow that day for some reason. And uh, I feel like this kind of loosens everything up, you know. And I find it actually has, I think, helped my aim with Ash. I think part of it is too when they. Uh, when they increase the projectile size for stuff, I think that helped. But uh, I think this helps too. It just kind of loosens you up, like I said. The the uh, the key to this game is when you get your double kill or whatever it is, it's seeing how long you can keep it going before the narrator resets. See now she resets. So then you see how long you can uh, you can keep killing the robots quick enough that you don't have to hear her again. That's kind of the game. See, I just mess, might have messed it up. Yeah, I did. Actually, no. Ah, uh, that was definitely the mess up. I used to do it with the score too, but I feel like the score kind of plateaued. I don't know. And then as you start, um, see too, I, I, I switch it up sometimes, like sometimes I just try to go for speed, like you start, you know, you go for as fast as you can, just kind of tracking targets, but I feel like it's better to just make sure you hit the shots, but go slower. Like it doesn't really matter to me if I'm if I'm hitting these things, but like I'm missing half my shots. Because it's fine in practice range, you have unlimited ammo if you turn it on, but like the Ash's biggest drawback is that long ass reload time. When my there you go. Like I turned it off. There you go. Just like you're in the middle of a fight, you have to do this, and then you're shooting, and then all of a sudden you're out of it for, you know, three seconds or so, and it's just a huge pain. So I feel like the m most important thing with the character is just to learn how to actually make your shots count, um, as opposed to some other characters I play. I'm trying to practice Echo a lot more often too. I've just never been into the flying characters like Flip Fair or Echo, but I've been trying to uh, just see what's going on, you know, practice them just to have them in my back pocket. Okay. It's been going okay. It's been going okay. One of my past streams, I think, been the past week is up there still. I'm starting to get the concept. Um, my biggest problem with Echo is I feel like. And this is probably just because, like I said, I'm only level 8 with her. It's not like I've, I've put significant time in really yet. But I feel like my biggest problem with her is... She... Like, when her cooldowns are done, like, you're basically... Not helpless, because you still have your primary. That's pretty good. But but I find that myself a lot of times. I, I use my both my cooldowns. And then maybe I use my flight. 
And then it's like, if I'm not free and clear of the enemy by then, like, I'm basically dead. Like... So I might, I might practice Mecha later again, but I'm just gonna stick with Ash here for now. And I haven't even done all my placements for the season yet. I think I have two more DPS placements, or matches, so... Maybe I'll do that. But, like I said, I'm just kind of rusty. I want to make sure I can perform at the highest level for any of them. This is the spray from uh, Overwatch Competitive Season 1. And I actually didn't realize the season. I just never noticed that this is in the shape of Tracer. Yeah, that's Tracer there. I just never used the spray enough. I never noticed. Yeah. It's a shame. I've never done well enough in a competitive season to get the uh, like animated sprays or whatever and i'm surprised they haven't done any animated sprays besides the competitive ones maybe someday let's see here oh it's a great start Doomfist versus Doomfist. What is our tank doing? I am not ready to run oh, we're about to stop moving. That's why. You know, just initial impressions. I don't know if I feel uh, great about this match. Are they all in there. Trying to cover you, dog. Oh, he wanted to fight off the point. Looks like Moira's here. There she is. Okay, then, you know. I really felt like we were about to uh, have a hard time, and then the enemy team disappeared, literally, so... Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> well, at least she said goodbye. I'm just gonna leave him to do his thing. It looks like he's happy. Oops. Ow. Is that really still trying to shoot me? He is. Oh my god, dude. So bad. I hope I got a ride now. Mm. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> then again. Damage boosted Hanzo straight to my head. She didn't even mean to hit me. Kenji's gonna live, huh? Who's nice back here? Someone's up. Hello. I think he got her, yeah. I feel like this team is very disorganized. Like, we're really just winging it, but. It's working out okay. Like, <laughs> just no one's on the point. The tanks are battling on top of the roof. Just, okay. I'll sit on the point. This wasn't exactly what I wanted, 
uh, from like my warm-up game. This is kind of kind of rough on everyone's, uh, not for everyone, but whatever. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. And again, instantly dead from the Hanzo, but at least Bob got off. Is Hanzo all my death so far? He might be three out of four or something. And the Genji killed me first. That's fine. He's always killing me when the fight's basically over. And he just gets like one lucky kill, which is. does nothing, so. I'll take it. Such <laughs> a weird fight. Such a weird fight here. Like, we're just moving the point here. And all of a sudden, I'm dead. We got a decent amount without any conflict down below, so... Again, I feel like this isn't, uh... giving me much chance to warm up, but it's... it's working okay, I guess. Valentine's Day skin. Is he Doomfist? He becomes follows me up here. Good. Oh, he's coming up. Ah, oh, I tried to. Die, die, die. That was such a waste of Bob. Why oh, you kill Echo, actually? Why oh, don't you shoot in the Mercy? You know, why don't you shoot in the Mercy? I tried to just preserve my life there. I should have just backed up. Thought if I could use the Bob to kill the Reaper and I could keep my high ground up there, we could just finish it, but. It's a stupid, uh. It's a stupid ult. Just the mercy left. She's gonna have to. There you go. There we go. It worked out. It was fine. Not a bad game. Not a good game. It's good. I think my biggest problem. So I've played a lot of Ash. I feel like my biggest issue still is um, is like taking high ground or whatever. I feel like a lot of times I should use my positioning better. But sometimes I just I just prefer to be in a spot where I can clearly see the enemies and just shoot at them with the rest of the team. But really, I probably should have gone back on that high ground like multiple times. They did have the Echo and that Reaper. But, um, like I did, if that Reaper didn't kill me immediately, you can coach gun them off from there, at least the Reaper, so. I probably could have just taken that high ground and just shot down. But, you know, Elf's up to work on. Definitely. Hmm. <sighs> I 
don't know how long I'm going to use this skin. I like it, and, you know, I picked it. I picked one uh, Cowboy Be Bebop skin, and I picked this one because I, I play Ash all the time. And uh, it's a good skin. Just, like, I kind of miss, like, I always use, um, I use Little Red a lot. Just having, um, you know, my grandmother, uh, Wolf, Bob, kind of miss him. Or I use, um, you know, the Warlock skin. Poolside's pretty good. I use the Philadelphia Fusion. Rest in peace. You know, I just don't know why uh, they got rid of the Philadelphia Fusion. You can have other teams to get rid of. Select your hero. You know? Remember the... I can't remember what year it was, but the inaugural year of the Overwatch League. I said if the uh, Philadelphia Fusion won, I would buy, like... Uh, they were selling, like, basically, like, nice... Uh, like jackets or whatever I think like it was like a like Philadelphia Fusion like sports jacket and it was like over a hundred dollars I believe I think I don't remember if it was that expensive but it was expensive and I said I would buy one if they won and they they got to the finals and they lost so you know now I kind of regret it like I, it'd be kind of cool to have a Philadelphia Fusion uh jacket like for a team that doesn't exist anymore you know, I, I I don't really have any Overwatch memorabilia anymore. I used to have uh, an Overwatch sweatshirt and some Overwatch shorts, and I don't know where, no idea where they went. I think the shorts are still floating around somewhere. Right, let me see here. It's lock in. It's always these Moiras, man. They love to they love to try to just get right into the fight. And recently, I've been trying to be much better about punishing them for that. Because for a long time, I feel like, ah, oh, it's just a Moira. Not just trying to punish me. Just a Moira. What can she really do, you know? But then you realize that no one pays her any attention, and then your whole team gets sucked to death. Dude, this Darker Queen <laughs> just needs to die. Alright, we won. They're still fighting, but... They overextend and all get murdered. You know, that's on them. I'm guarding the point. I'll take it. Oops. Oh, I made it. Dude, this Junker Queen just kill. Killer. I don't know how many times I've gotten her to a, a third of her HP or less. There you go. This has been pretty chill. I think they'll come and they're gonna just guard the spawn, that's fine. Whoa! I'm actually on fire! Hi. Hey! Hey there! Look at here before it unlocks. Flashpoint unlocks in ten seconds. See, I don't like this behavior. This is when your team gets cocky. Hello. And like when you beat another team so bad and the teams quit, like you're basically introducing in my mind like uh, chance into the equation. Like if you're just better at a team and you beat them so bad that they quit the game, it's like you don't know who's going to join next. So I've definitely had games where like my team gets really cocky and then, you know, the enemy team mostly quits and then you get put in with a GM or top 500 random DPS or something and then the whole game flips. You can't be too cocky. You don't want to guard their spawn. You don't want to go over, like, uh, you don't want to taunt them. No teabagging. Just, uh, you can talk shit once you win the game, if you really want to, you know? Uh, 
I'm really, I really don't have to do anything this game. This is... Oh, Alright. You do a emote. Wow. I like to think that my gameplay is so strong that I actually don't need to be doing anything. Let's see. We've captured two points. <laughs> I've basically contributed nothing. I'm just getting pick damage here and there. And... Oh, they're coming after me. Well, not after me, but... I have Bob. I might do it. Should I do Bob just to fight this point? Oh, here he comes. You can do that when the other team is really bad. <laughs> you can do that type of stuff when the other team's bad. You just... The Reaper teleported me when he had one-third of health. And the Sojourn rushed me when my teammate was coming up and I threw a bot. I could just... Know what you're doing. Oh, they got a Bastion. Classic. Classic. The Desperation Bastion is just a mainstay in this game. Me and my friends kind of have a thing where... Uh, if you start with Bastion, I think that's more honorable. Like, it's fine. Like, maybe he's, like, your character. Uh, even though that's still not great. Oh my god, I can't hear it. There you go. But, like, if you switch to Bastion in Desperation, that's just kind of sad. But... I think that <laughs> we do that too, so I can't pretend like I, I haven't switched the best in, in Desperation. But at the same time, I like to like, call it out. Just because we do it doesn't mean it's okay, you know? Oh. There you go. Wow. 16 and 0, and I really didn't have to do pretty much anything. Play the game. Okay, let's see here. This is actually probably a good play. Let's see here. The Reaper, yeah. How did I shoot him while he... I don't even know. He was literally in ghost form. I don't know how that happened. He must have canceled it last second or something. Do I get any endorsements for that? I mean, I didn't really contribute because you guys were... Fighting a good fight the whole game, but no. Something that worries me is this Cowboy Bebop music playing in the background. Like, would this be copyright striked? If, like, uh, this is streaming or something and they hear the Cowboy Bebop music? I don't know. Hmm. But we're on a win streak. First two games, two wins. Minimum uh, contributions. I'm not a huge fan of this map. Especially because the first point, like when you're trying to push under that bridge, the enemy can have pretty strong high ground. And I play Ash a lot, and it's just kind of a pain. And you push through, and they can still have the high ground up on that... Up on that ledge, surrounding the point, or that, like... I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. I feel like this is just... Such a mess. Nice oh. Hey. Settle up. We got work to do. Hello. Rai sala. Aim 
Another Doomfist. Oh, what's been going on with Doomfist's popularity recently? I feel like he's being used a lot. This is what I'm talking about with this high ground here. Okay, well, it's actually working out well. She's gonna res that, but. Dang it. That was so bad. Maybe that at least gave him an opening, yeah. Oh, don't have my dynamite yet. Ah, uh, instantly dead too. Oh, thank you. Here comes Reaper. Like, I just hate these angles. Hate this McCree. I like the high ground though. I don't even know what he just hit. I almost got that Kiriko again. Ah, oh, that bubble literally barely blocked. Yeah, you have the Reaper in there. Look at that Kizzy. Ah, uh, Azaria was low. I have Bob for the next fight at least. Oops, she might kill me here. But that was just, you know, I feel like I was doing enough damage to their tanks or their DPS, their healers, just no one was finishing it up. Which, you know, I can too, but couldn't do it. Like right there. The sorry I had no health again. Shooting Mazaria in the face over and over again. I just need uh, sight lines of their heads. And I can try to make something happen. Not where the heck he just went. So he's low, now he's back to full. Oh, Winston's a good pick for this, because a lot of them are getting to low health and you just can't finish them. Oh, fine, dead. Whoa! I can't believe that save that just happened. He pulled me back and then onto the leaf. Oh, got Bizarria. I'm gonna throw a Bob before she tries to res, which she did. This is our chance to move in if our tank would do it. But now Bob's dead. Just saying, that was the shot right there. Bizarria was dead, Bob was out. She was going for the res. There we go. I don't know how I feel about this McCree. Just flip it, just flip it. He said, I think that McCree is a good shot. So I don't want to mess with him if I don't have to. Alright. Most important ability is availability, as they say. It doesn't help me to be. It's on my team if I'm just dead because I want to keep 1v1ing the uh, McCree. She's dead again. Oh, now another res. Why not? I don't love the McCree and the Reaper on the team with this part of the map either because, again, just more high ground. I can go up there, but. 
I just don't love the uh, sightline here. Oh. Right on the money. She ran. <laughs> okay. Bomb. What effort. Oh, you good. There you go. I think we need to shoot now. Oh, the cure comes back there. Dude, how did that not hit them? The hell? She's got no health, so. Jesus. Dude. I feel like when I miss three shots in a row, that's my, like, signal to, like, alright, just regroup. Oh, I thought he was close. The mine scared me. Oh, I might be dead. Oh. If I can get an angle. Up, oh, is the Reaper back here? Yeah. I wouldn't say this game's chill, but I was worried it was going to be overly difficult. It hasn't been too bad. Can't hit her ass. Can't see her fucking head. Now I can see her head. Oh. Where'd she get him? Oh, I hit him twice. Here it comes. I can't do anything about it. Oh. I did something about it. I might have killed my team. But that was a complete waste. I overloaded my gun. Yeah. Complete waste of bomb, but I don't know, I was feeling cocky. Oh, he's low. I just don't know if I trust... So this is a situation where I want to take high ground, but I don't really trust our... our tank down there by himself. There you go. Up oh, the resin the reaper behind us. Oh, come on. I'm gonna actually lose this game. We've got one more shot. I'm not a dumb McCreel. I mean, it worked, but. We have to be able to touch it, so. Soldier, are you gonna touch it? He's gonna touch it here. You want me to do it? Life Weaver's going for it? Okay. See, my goal here. What? What? Now that, I don't know if I'd buy. I have to see the, uh. <laughs> Let's see that. That looked pretty suspicious. I think... I don't... I don't know. It looked like he was on it. I think we should, we should have a shot there to win that for sure. Because I would have... I was close to Bob. We killed the tank there. Soldier had his ult. We were winning that, honestly, I think. That was a little suspect. I don't know if I believe that he wasn't on the point there.
I don't know. Your teammates like surrounding the point. You're telling me no one was close enough? Oh. I don't accept that loss. I don't accept that one. Seems a little suspect. But I do. I did fine. Got the most damage at least. That other, uh, the McCree was good too. Like, so he only died one time. But the, the fact that you come to the last point and you almost have died only one time, I, I I don't always see that as a sign of like, wow, you did a really good job. I see that as a sign of, like, mm, I think maybe you were a little bit of a coward, you know? Maybe you put your life on the line a little bit. Um, we wouldn't have got as far as we did, you know? But you decided to be a coward, and you're a uh, okay, good job. You kept your life's your life's up, but uh, you keep your deaths down. I meant, but uh, you're a coward. I think it's time to blow so, this thing and get it you know, okay, three, two, one, it's jam. not necessarily a terrible thing. You know, we kept us from getting all charged off of you, and you did a significant amount of damage, but. Come really, you came really close to losing. That didn't have to happen. Like I said, if we, uh, if the game was a little bit more lenient with that, how close you were to the thing, we would have won that game, so. I have no doubt. Hmm. Here we go. Elios, okay. I don't hate Elios. I do find a well a little annoying. But our guy's playing Roadhog, so hopefully he's a good, uh, good aim. Take care of each other out there. We're doing this my way. I really miss it, the launch of Overwatch, uh, Overwatch 2, where you're playing as Ash and you would line dance, and she would just go into a T pose, and a rifle would be sticking through her stomach. Them getting rid of that uh, wasn't fair, and they should add it back in as an emote, as a reference, you know? So I would love, you know, taking the point or whatever and then just like T-posing right on top of it. Uh, there's a Genji. Where the hell is he? There he is. Well, I baited out his deflect at least. There you go. I was gonna say if he didn't get that hook kill, he just messed around for no reason. Oh. Uh, should I go take a look? Oh, they have a tracer now. When I was playing as Ash against Tracer, I actually didn't mind it uh, for a while, just because one of the nice things is that with Ash, I get a single headshot on Tracer. She was dead. Now after the, her health though, uh, her buff, so she's got... Her 